Hello, this is Raina Lynn, and I'm here to teach you how to get started using Hubsy iframe engine. And this will be a short tutorial on how to create a page for your fan page really quick. And the first thing you need to do is to go to hubsy.com, log in, and you will get to their dashboard. The first thing you're going to see is a little video that they're going to teach you about their dashboard. And this is their central area. And then below are the products that you have. There's an iframe engine, a fan page engine, and a Hubsy card. Those are coming soon. And on the left-hand side, we have links that go all the way to resources. OK, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the iframe engine. And as you can see, there's, um, I have a page here, I have a couple pages here. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to create a new one. You can view your page, you can edit your page, you can delete your page. So, you know, you can practice and then just get rid of them if you want, you know, as many times as you want. So, okay, what I'm going to do is create a new page. And I'm going to name it iframe engine. RL, that's so I can just differentiate it because it's just a demo. Okay, I go ahead and click it and hit next. And what it's going to do is it, it's going to create your platform to edit. Whoops. Okay, so what you have here is on this side your blank page and this side are your modules. These are the things that you're going to move from the right hand side to the left hand side and cut and paste all the way through. It's really easy. So first I'd watch the tutorial, but but the next thing I would do, I mean, not I'm not going to do that right now, but um, the first thing you have to do is pick your page styles. That's just your background colors. And I'm going to keep everything white. If I wanted to change this to a different color, all I do is click on it and, and pick it. Uh, you can align the background, tile the background, which is really annoying. You can do your ba pa excuse me, uh, page border link colors. I'm just going to keep it as it is. I just want a white page. Okay, so here's your page. This is your footer. And all you do is you just go down the line and add what you want. So first, I'm, I'm not going to do an Add Reveal tab today. That's for a different video. First thing is a subtitle. So you click the Add Subtitle. And it, give, it brings up a window. And all I'm going to do, I've got some pre-done copy, copy and paste. <clears throat> Control V for Firefox. <coughs> I'm going to do a little bit of formatting, make it just a little bit bigger, just to show you. It's a pretty powerful program. Okay, then tops, I'm just going to leave the spacing for now. and hit save. And what that will do, it will insert that headline into your page. And each one that you pop from the right to the left, you'll see these, these three buttons. This one is settings, so if you ever have to go back and edit, you just hit it and it'll open it up again. This is remove, and this is to move the modules. So you can just add all the modules you want, and then you can move them around to the way you like them. Okay, so the next one is a, an image. So I'm going to add my image, bring it down. I'm going to <clears throat> select files, and that's what I want. And then the next thing is I want to link this to my promo page. So I, I've got my UR, URL ready to go, so it's a little bit faster. OK, paste. And basically, this one I'm going to put a 25 pixel cushion because it gets too, too crowded. Hit save. Okay, now see how, how it's just building up? Okay, the third thing, I am going to show you text because it's just an e easier way to do it. Instead of doing it in, in the modules, you can pre-do it in, in Word or whatever. And then just cut and paste. Okay, here's your... Here's my uh, ad copy. Cut and paste. Control V. There it is. It's all ready to go. 
It's just so nice. I'm going to go ahead and put 25 on these too. You could do 10 or 5, or, but 25 seems to be the best. It gives it just a little bit of spacing so it's not crowded. Okay, so you see how it builds up? You just keep adding the next one. And I want to show you two more, um, the add lead in opt in form, because this is what scares everybody. This is what holds everybody up. They're too afraid because they don't know how to do an opt in. It's really easy. Now, I'm not going to show you how, an, I use AWeber. I'm not going to show you how to do all that. I'm, um, maybe we can do that with another video. But lead capture, basically, it's cut and paste again. But this time, you're just going to go into your generator and copy the HTML, right click, paste, and save. Okay. And of course, you want to make sure that your opt in box is attached to some kind of uh, subscription so that people can receive something. And I would, what I'm going to do is I'll do an offer and then they can subscribe and they'll put their name and email. Okay, the last thing I want to show you is the Facebook comments. It is so easy. Again, it's just click on the right and put it in the left. Okay, the only thing on this is that you want to make sure that this these comments are for the domain page that you're doing it to. So I'm going to use this one. Oh, that's an old copy. Disregard that. Okay, paste. Save it. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, now, I only have the footer to do, but right here, this is what's so nice. I really don't want my comments way in the bottom, so all you do is grab the little modules and move them up to where you want them. So I want them right after here. Oops, did I? Oops, what did I do? Sorry about that. Sometimes you got to. A little there, I did it too high. Sorry about that. Okay, just move it back down. All right, and I want it right here. There. And so, if I want to take something out, just click on it, it'll go away. Okay, lastly, oh, by the way, there are templates here, but I want to show you how to build it on your own because it's easy. But if you do want to do just templates, you can start with the template. And the last thing is the footer settings. All you have to do is put your name in there. Save it, and that'll have all the copyright stuff on the bottom. See? And that's it. Okay, so that was not, didn't take very long. All you do now is you have to publish your page. So you hit publish, and it'll add, it's going to ask you, do you want to add this app? And then you say yes. And then it's right here on the left hand side of, of the wall. Okay, there it is. Now you will have to, um, you can move the app to be on the top page too. I'm not going to show you how to do that today, but, but you can move that so that it's the main landing page. So there you go. And see, it didn't really take that long. <coughs> um, well, I guess that's it. The only other thing is. Um, if you have any questions, you can go to my, my web page, my fan page. It's uh, facebook.com, Raina Lynn's fan page. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to help you. And I really hope that you enjoyed this. The only thing you need to do is add a picture and then, you know, update some of the stuff on Facebook. And just remember, the, the most important thing, so you don't get confused, make sure you are on your own uh, Facebook profile, not your fan page, because that gets a lot of people into trouble. So, okay, I hope to see you soon, and I guess I'll talk to you later.